Hi there, everybody. We have a football match for you today that is officially a friendly. Martin Tyler here with you as usual. Alan Smith alongside me as usual. And I think plenty for us to talk about to get our teeth into today. And it's Chelsea today against Inter. It's a point we often make, Alan, about Stamford Bridge, and of course, as the years go by, not so many people remember how it used to be with the Greyhound track around the outside, that Speedway here as well. But when they squared it off, they really made it a very atmospheric stadium. That's right, Martin. I remember playing here, and you had to run half a mile to get to the fans behind the goal. <laughs> it was, it was quite spaced out, but much different now, and uh, a very fine ground. Here's the Chelsea lineup. With the way this manager likes to play, that four is going to sit pretty much in place, and the two in midfield as well. Yeah, that uh, defensive two won't be going too far. They won't be getting ahead of the ball many times. They'll be just trying to feed it into those front four lads. This is Inter's lineup. So we think it's going to be 3 5 2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. It was a pragmatic win for Chelsea, and they won the League Cup as well, we shouldn't forget. They did exactly what Manchester City had done the season before, League Cup, League title, um, but perhaps not quite with the same panache as Pellegrini's team. Well, maybe not. I mean, Mourinho was stymied by the injury to Diego Costa two-thirds through the season, and that certainly did affect them and just reined them back a bit, and... They got over the line in a different way to the fashion that they'd really zoomed ahead of the rest of the pack. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, but the pass wasn't on. It was a, a bad ball, as it turned out. here goes the goal off the post he's got to play it back to the goalkeeper he's got his shot off now he wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender he's just got to get it right it's all about timing Really strong play in the tackle. And here's the shot. Got it beyond the keeper, but just beyond the post. Quick change of possession here. And he's moved in, trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. A return ball. Chelsea have got possession back. And shoots! And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. And that's going to mean a booking for the player. Oh, without question, it was not the best of challenges. Well, the threat was there. It wasn't quite the goal. I think the keeper might have been relieved there, Martin, because I don't think he would have got there. I don't know what the Inter players are really thinking about this fixture, but I think it will be quite a challenging one for them. It's 
a useful position this for the free kick. Saved by the goalkeeper, clasped it to his midriff. Able to make a good interception. In to get the throw. Now it's Turan. Referee says free kick. Jackson. Nothing wrong with that tackle. In fact, it was a terrific effort. good save and it didn't get away from him the ball either it's a bad pass he's given it straight that'll be a free kick against Chelsea Shots on! Chelsea's corner now. Now the shot! Oh, a miss. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Well, there's nothing between them at half time. And we probably expected that, Alan. Yeah, they did look evenly matched on paper. That's how it's turned out, and hard to pick a winner, isn't it? Everyone focused for the start of the second half here at Stamford Bridge. Challenge between the two of them there. Shot off! Not much in that. It was a whisker wide of the post. He's allowed the three substitutes and two of them coming on together here. I don't know why he was shooting from there, to be honest with you. Now, if you are going to shoot from that distance, you've got to do a much better job than that. At least make the keeper work. Francesco Acerbi. Francesco Acerbi. 
Martinez. And he's got away from him. Palmer. And that tackle right on the edge of the pitch. Ball forced over the line. Chelsea attacking here. And the tackler has been very successful there. He's got possession. Here's Sterling. And he gets it returned to him. So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. No doubt about that. Free kick. Here's Tura. The referee does blow. The flag was up from the assistant. Here's Tura. A decent fist away by the keeper. Taking it well under pressure. Goes for goal! Well, he's taken a touch there of oh, the defender. It will be a corner. Well, it's a corner that's disappointing, really. The goalkeeper able to catch it without a challenge. Shots on here. And that must be the winning goal. And what a strike that was. It's just arrowed into that right-hand side of the goal. Another angle on it here. Into ahead. The clock ticks on. And time is not the friend of Chelsea here. No, and I think one or two players are aware of that. The manager on the sidelines urging them on, but it doesn't look like they've got it in them today. And back it goes to the goalkeeper. Now it's Turan. Found his teammate well. He's got his shot off now. Well, it was considered controlled attacking play, but it's come to nothing in the end. And now they've got to think about defending against the opposition. This might be it! He missed it! Martinez and he scores. Well, the keeper really couldn't get anywhere near. First time hit with real ferocity. Well, here's the goal again. Restarting at 2-0. And Inter have won the game here. Well, they've got their whole package here, haven't they? They put this game on to try and get a bit of a feel-good factor in the camp. And the result has done that, and the way they've gone about their work. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you never like to emphasise the necessity to win, but it's always nice, it's always a bonus when you do, particularly when you've got a bit more match practice for your players. Some final thoughts on... One of the better performers today, Alan. 
got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance.